Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. In today's video, guys, we'll be working here on a Dodge journey, guys, and we're going to show you how to remove and replace rear uh, brake pads. That's what we'll be doing today. We'll be installing new pads. Uh, in the meantime, we'll show you how to remove and replace uh, rear brake roller as well. If you want yours uh, replaced or if you uh, if you're going to resurface yours. Uh, the correct way to do is uh, you need to every time you put new pads okay you need to go ahead and remove the roller and have this one resurfaced okay what they do uh, you take it to the parts store and they're going to make it even they cut the top layer off of it remove the grooves and uh, it's going to be ready for new brake pads otherwise uh, if you just put brake pads on top of this one what's going to happen uh, you eat them uneven and it's not good for uh, for your brakes so uh, let's go ahead start on it now the first thing we need to jack the car up stay with us and we're going to show you how to do that remove the tire and get to the brakes so first you need to have your emergency brake on have emergency brake on the car in park we need to jack it up and use a jack stand as well all the tools and parts guys that we use including impacts uh, air compressors all that stuff uh, will be listed in the description of the video below for your convenience next we need to take the wheel off. We will have more than 200 wheels. So if you need help with anything specific, drop a comment below so we get the idea and we'll try to make a video for your specific problem. Okay, one of our lug nuts got stuck on the socket. This happens sometimes. Okay, and we just have one more to go. If some person, uh, the person before us didn't use the correct socket, what will happen? Okay, actually uh, it will mess up the lug nut sometimes, so the socket will get stuck on them. Okay, great. Now the wheel will be stuck and we'll show you guys how to take it off now. So we need to go ahead, okay, kick the tire but hold it a little bit, I mean don't go too crazy. And uh, why this wheel gets stuck, we're going to explain in a second. You can see that deposit right here, this is a rust deposit. This one will need to be cleaned with sandpaper, okay, and penetrating oil. Uh, and also we'll clean the inside of the wheel later because uh, uh, you can see this is preventing the wheel from going on the hub easy and getting off the hub. So we'll need to take care of that. So you uh, have like tire chocks installed so the car doesn't roll on you. Put it in park and we'll need to release uh, uh, the parking brake now. Stay out of the way when you do that to make sure nothing it doesn't fall. Okay. We'll need to release it so later. We can, uh, we can compress the caliper here, we'll show you how to do that and uh, that way we'll be able to install it again on the, on the hub. So here we have 13 millimeter. Okay, we need to remove that bolt now on top. We have the same one on the bottom there, again. Just 13 millimeter. Remove that bolt as well. Okay, now <clears throat> with the screwdriver just try to pry the caliper out of the bracket here. Okay, like that, careful not to damage your seal or anything like that. You have to be extremely, extremely careful. Now we're going to slide the pads out. Okay, those are the pads. Same thing on the inner side. Perfect, just like that one. Now, uh, we have here, okay, you can see that we have the 
emergency brake cable holding the caliper but if uh, the caliper is hanging too much you can uh, you can damage your brake line so if that uh, if you suspect that it's hanging too much uh, tight for the strut like that and it's not in the way now we have 18 millimeter socket we need to remove the bracket here for the caliper so we need to get this one loose Okay, now the one on top here. Perfect. Those got loose now. So we'll just get the ratchet now, remove these two. They will start going by hand, usually those, uh, they're very, uh, they're not very fine thread. Perfect. Now one more on top here, and that bracket will come off. Okay, just like that. So we'll be using uh, Interphone here. This is a great penetrating spray. Uh, you can find all the parts and tools again that we use in the description of the video below. Now in order to remove the roller here, we have to spray a little bit here. You can see where it corroded. So, okay, we're going to just spray a little bit like that. Let it soak for a little bit. Okay, and we're going to tap on it. So we'll get actually the rubber hammer guys, and every hammer on the roller itself. Okay, check it out now. It comes out. Okay, and this is, uh, this is your roller out of here, you can see just like that. So, uh, we're going to get a little bit of uh, lubricating, that penetrating spray now. We're going to clean here so everything is going to... Uh, to be clean so the roller can go on it. I'll even recommend to use some uh, some sandpaper here but you can see that thing penetrates the rust and it eats it off really really good. It's amazing product. So what we'll do, we'll get a little bit of sandpaper now, okay, and we're going to go on the hub here, just to clean everything super super good again, and we're going to lubricate it, that spray is supposed to prevent rust build up again in the future. So we'll go all the way around it, like that, and you can see it's going to turn real nice and clean, so the new roller or when you install your old roller, it's going to stick really good. So already did all the sanding, we're going to clean it now, check out all the stuff coming off of it, that thing is unbelievable. And we'll be ready to go. So now we'll need to uh, compress the, the piston in the caliper. And uh, on those, it's a special way that you do that and a special to you guys. Uh, again, everything will be listed in the description of the video below. You cannot just press it in because you have the emergency brake cable here. So this is like a, like a, crew, a screw type of uh, piston inside. So we'll need to turn it and push at the same time with that too. But what we'll be doing now, we'll just uh, lubricate okay, the seal here a little bit. Because otherwise, uh, what could happen is uh, actually the seal will get stuck, and as a result, it can uh, it can break. Dust will get in, and okay, your caliper will be done. So let's see if I can apply just a little bit on this side here. Okay, perfect. So this is the two that we will be using. You can see uh, now we need to find the one that will work for us. Okay, and we need to use the right hand side because we're on the right hand side of the vehicle. 
and we need to find one of those ends is actually going to uh, go in the piston right here so let's see which one is going to fit now okay perfect this one right there so we'll just stick it on top of this one okay and you need to start turning clockwise okay check out how it's going in Careful not to slip on, on you. So we'll keep doing that until it's done all the way to the end. So we compressed it, okay. All the way we'll see if uh, the brake will feed if not we can compress a little bit more next scene you're going to see the caliper probably red and the roller red because we'll be painting them uh, because since we removed to put new parts we'll paint them as well so we're going to remove the glides now to inspect them clean and apply a little bit of fresh grease okay you can see like this one is a little bit older so we went to the parts store guys and uh, we picked up the, the parts. What happened, they actually uh, delivered the wrong parts today. So what we have to do will be uh, reusing our parts until we get the new ones and then we'll have the, the roller cut as well. So those are the old parts. Uh, you can see they still have quite a bit of white left, uh, but we're going to order new ones. So what we'll do, we'll just send with a box the top layer so they don't, they're not shiny and burned and that way They'll be good until we get the new ones. It happens sometimes, they deliver the wrong stuff because uh, they have a few different kinds of rear rollers. Okay, so we'll use some brake cleaner to clean them now. We're going to clean as well where the uh, brake pad contacts. Okay, the, uh, the bracket right here, the ends, because we'll need to apply a little bit of brake grease over the uh, little glides here, we remove them so we can clean them as well. We're going to wipe them. Okay, perfect. And wipe the little guys as well so they don't have any dust and rust. Okay, perfect. Uh, you can see we painted everything now. On the back side it doesn't need to be painted, so pretend you didn't see that it's not painted there. Nobody will notice it. Apply a little bit of fresh grease there. Okay, perfect. We need to make sure that those glides, okay, you can see we have a little bit of dust here, so we need to wipe it off. And we need to push them in. And install the rubber seal on top there now. Okay, perfect. We will install all of the all of the shims now. Okay, you need to make sure that you get the correct ones in the correct way. Perfect. We'll get just a little bit of brake grease now, very little amount. And just put a hair, okay, very thin amount, and we're going to spread it with the finger later. 
pretty much you need to wipe your glove off just a little bit because otherwise it's going to collect too much dust on the back side of your pads very very thin amount of brake grease as well and just spread it with your finger very thin amount this is where the caliper will be contacting the pad okay this one there too Next, we are ready to install the roller. So if you are installing a new roller, the procedure is the same, doesn't matter if it's the old one or a new one. I, I would recommend every time you put new pads again, get this one resurfaced, unless it's too thin. If it's too thin, you need to replace it with a new one. You can find the video that explains how to find the specs and how much you can resurface this one. Now we are ready to install the bracket here for the caliper. Just get it there, install the two bolts. And we'll need to get those tight. So we have the torque wrench here and we need to go ahead and set for the big bolts here on the back at 100 Newton meters. That's what the manual says. Okay, 100 Newton meters. So this one, okay, 95. So right here we are at 100 Newton meters. So we are ready to go now. This is a click type wrench, so what will happen when we reach that torque, you hear a click. It's very important not to go past that click because if you do, you will put too much torque. So make sure that you have the bottom bolts started before we torque them down, okay? What I'll be doing here, uh, we'll get both of them all the way in to make sure everything's aligning good and then we'll use 100 Newton meters. Again guys, always double check everything for your specific vehicle, ear, model and all that stuff. Okay, listen now the torque wrench will click when we reach the torque. This is it guys, okay, this is it, this is the optimum. Now I'm going to do the top now. Okay, listen now for the top when we reach the torque. Perfect, I'll go and retorque the bottom one. Okay, I'll try both of them twice to make sure that everything's good. Perfect. Now the top one. Great, okay, 100 Newton meters, those are done. So we can go ahead and install the pads. Imagine we have new pads now, guys. You have to stand till the end to see exactly what else you need to do. This one will be inner pad now. That's the one that we had with the metal piece. Just make sure you get them in the glides. If you put new glides or remove yours, you need to install them the correct way because they go only one certain way, otherwise your pad will not be seated good. Okay, perfect. Now we can slide the caliper on top. And we need to install the two, two bolts here. So we will install the bolts now. 
and we'll set the torque range. We we'll need to get a wrench that will fit here so we can hold it and use the torque wrench at the same time. So for our year and model now, <laughs> those bolts are 35 newton meters. That's what we should go at. We're going to hold the, okay, let me grab the correct wrench, 15 millimeter wrench here. And one person is going to torque them down, okay, to 35 newton meters. Again, this is a click type wrench, guys, so once you hear that click, you should stop immediately if you apply more torque. Okay, listen now. Okay, that's it. Now we'll go to the bottom one. And hold this one here now. Okay, perfect. And we'll do the same thing. Okay, we'll be there any minute now. Listen now, that's it. Okay, let's check the top one one more time and the bottom one just to make sure that everything's good. And make sure you do not over torque them. Okay, great. And the bottom one again. Oh, uh, we always double check everything. Okay, perfect. So those are the torque specs. Now it is very important to go inside the vehicle and hit the brakes before you uh, let the tire and the, the car off the jack because you can see okay that part is moving do not touch it like I do because if you stick your finger it can uh, cut your finger off but pump the brake pedal at least 20 30 times until you don't have any play okay check it out now I'll try to move it while one person is holding the brake no nope, no play we'll do the uh, okay the emergency brake now we will apply it Okay, now let go a few times. Okay, to make sure now that there is absolutely no play in the caliper because what will happen if you don't get that play? When you start driving the car, the first time you push the brakes a few times, you will not have no brakes. You have no brakes because there will be gap between the pads and the, and the caliper and that gap will result into a soft pedal and you will not have brakes. So always do that when you remove brakes. Next we need to go ahead and install our wheel, so that's what we'll be doing next and uh, we have a video that will explain the torque specs and all that stuff for the wheels guys. Uh, again you have to double check everything for your specific manual, uh, your specific manual for your specific model and year because depending on the wheels and the tire size you might require different torque specs. Next we're ready to uh, get the jack stand out to drop the jack. Make sure that you get everything out, make sure there is nobody under the car. And that's how you guys replace rear brake pads. Thank you guys for watching, please hit that subscribe button for more videos and hopefully guys we can save you quite a bit of money.